Hi, always a quick video showing the creation methods for a lofted flange in sheet metal that will take you from a rectangular to a circular section. So we'll start off with a rectangle, or in this case a square sketch, and we have a gap. So we need to rip the material at some point, and I've just put a small gap there. We create a datum and I've created one 50 millimeters away and we create an arc or a circle with a gap so we have our construction geometry we go into the lofted flange command we'll just reset everything to out of the box and we define our start and end section so I'm going to define my start section as the rectangular section at the bottom move to the end section which is the circular section at the top and we create our lofted flange. Now if we look into some of the options here, we have formed, advanced and bends. Formed creates the non-planar, non-cylindrical and non-conical faces. So this is where the material is plastically deformed to create this physical shape. Advanced attempts to create only planar and cylindrical shapes. So here we've got uh, a cylinder in each corner and planar surfaces elsewhere. And then finally, bends creates discrete cylindrical bend segments, and you can create this on a conventional uh, brake press. And for granularity, we can modify the number of bend segments that you've got there. So once we've got our desired output, I'll leave that at 15, and we can create our flat pattern. We'll just have a look at that side by side. I'll just create a new window and look at the flat pattern view. So we can see uh, the flat pattern and the original geometry. If I change the bending method back to formed and OK this, you'll see that the flat pattern will actually fail because the face that was selected for the flat pattern is no longer available. We need to reselect the face as you switch between different types. And here we can see a much more simplified flat pattern cutout. And I'll just take that back to the original situation. If I want to modify the original uh, rectangular shape and size for example for example I'll, I can go down to say 90 on the width and it will regenerate the shape and it will regenerate the flat pattern so you could then quite happily create a parametric model to define this transition between rectangular and circular for a number of different sizes